Let's take you through the adductor, adductor magnus tendon approach to its insertion. But before we do that, let's look at the landmarks for the hamstring, the proximal hamstring. So we start with the medial side and you identify the big adductor magnus muscle and the edge on the medial side of the semi-membranosus and semi-tendinosus. So if we get to the fascial plane at the medial side, if I now go distally, you can see the muscle of the semi-membranosus coming up. If I go back proximally, that one disappears again. And the next thing you do is you follow the deep fascial plane, a little bit more lateral, and then you can see this nodule, which is the semi-membranosus tendon. Above that is the semi uh, tendinosus muscle and you can identify that as you go distally by the strata that goes through semitendinosus muscle. So if we go back to the semimembranosus tendon and the deep fascia and we follow it laterally we see this big nodule which is the sciatic nerve. Above that is the conjoint tendon, the semitendinosus and the biceps. If we follow it further laterally, the deep fascial plane, we can follow it and you can see the end of that lateral compartment, which is the biceps, long head of biceps. Okay. Now if we go back to the center point of, of these structures where we have on the left side, medial side, the semimembranosus tendon, the sciatic nerve laterally and on top the conjoint tendon. And if we follow those, th these three structures proximally, see if we can just follow them to the attachment as we go slowly up follow them up and then it comes the footprint on the attachment and if we angle it a bit more lateral you can see the two bundles there individually and then when we go back distally we're at our starting point again there so now when we go further medially where we started if we now Pay attention to the adductor magnus muscle. There's a little tendon that you can see just deep to the semitendinosus muscle, and that is the adductor magnus tendon. And if I go slowly proximal, we're going to follow that up. It's quite a small tendon, considering it's a big muscle, but if we just follow it up, slowly up, slowly up, and we should start seeing the attachment just coming up there on top of the on top of the bone there and if we now move lateral from there we're back onto the hamstring attachment itself so you can see they're not that far removed from each other now once I trace it back to where we started and that is your starting point, little tendon, just visible deep to the semitendinosus muscle. And that's your approach for the proximal assessment of the adductor magnus tendon, um, as well as the landmarks for the proximal hamstring.